What's going on YouTube? My name is Ron came back again with get one more video. Welcome to the Black Business Today series. As always, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like on the video, leave some comments as well with some feedback on what you did and didn't like about the video and what you'd like to see more on this channel. And always subscribe to the channel for related business content. Now, without further ado, we'll get right into today's news. So the title of today's article is Russell Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship is raising $20 million to empower black businesses. So we'll get right into it. So after achieving a milestone of $25 million fundraising over the past two years, the Russell Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship, RCIE, in Atlanta is boldly building on that drive this year. Calling itself the nation's largest nonprofit center for black entrepreneurs, the RCIE has finished work on phase one and two with a capital raise of $12 million and $13 million, respectively. The RCIE initially pledged to build the center debt free by reaching its 45 million yon innovation campaign goal. It started serving entrepreneurs in 2018. Now, I think this is a great institution. I think this is something that is desperately needed in the black community so that we can empower ourselves to become successful entrepreneurs and ultimately, as I say all the time on this channel, reduce or get rid of, eliminate the racial wealth wealth gap in this country. So we'll keep moving on here. So now the entrepreneurial facility is raising another 20 million and beginning its final phase three construction expansion this month. Other plans for January include rebranding the center and renaming it the Russell's Innovation Center for uh, Entrepreneurs. Okay, so looks like they're going from RCIE to RICE Rice. Okay. I like it. Moreover, the center plans to launch a new website this month as well as ramp up construction to add both new space and programming. Okay. It's very good stuff I see them doing here. Okay. All right. So the fresh move comes as black businesses have been trounced by COVID-19 and other issues that devastated many African-American areas last year. According to a report published by the Washington Post in July, some 26% of black businesses closed their businesses between February and May 2020. In contrast, just 11% of white businesses, business owners have shut down. So this is something that we've touched on in a previous video on the Black Business Today series. Um, if you watched that video, you'd know that there was a poll taken and basically I would say 46% of black, um, businesses said that they wouldn't be able to keep their businesses open for more than six months amid the COVID-19 pandemic. And that percentage was lower for all other ethnic groups. And so Basically, this figure here, the 11% of white uh, business owners having to shut down their businesses compared to 26% of black businesses having to close, that's really just because these white businesses have more funding, they have more backing, and they have just more resources to keep the business alive and well. Um, a lot of black people, most black people don't come from money, so they're putting up their own capital to invest in their business. And by doing that, basically, well, if you have a pandemic like COVID-19 come around, uh, these people are really just losing out on their money and they'd be better off just closing their doors. So that would account for this figure here. So we'll move on. The National Bureau of Economic Research disclosed 41% of Black-owned businesses had closed due to COVID-19 as of May 2020. Yes, and this was also another figure from a previous video. Um, 41% for, 
of black owned businesses had closed due to COVID-19. That is an astonishing number. That's almost half. That's almost half. That is really, really setting us farther behind in our quest to close the racial wealth gap in this country. So because we have obstacles like this, we need to further empower ourselves, which is where institutions like uh, RCIE come into play because they're actually empowering Black entrepreneurs to be successful in business. All right, so we'll move on here. So Jay Bailey, the CEO and president of RCIE, shared with Black entrepreneurs by email why now is a good time for African Americans to use the center to help them open or expand businesses. Black entrepreneurs have been disproportionately impacted by a multitude of factors that prevent them from pursuing business and employment opportunities from the unprecedented coronavirus pandemic to barriers stemming from systematic racial injustice and social inequality. RCIE is boldly pursuing pathways to expand the possibilities for entrepreneurs in Atlanta and beyond at a time when ensuring equitable opportunities for black owned businesses matters more than ever. I completely agree wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly with this. I feel like we need even more institutions to aid and assist black entrepreneurs to start up their own businesses just so that we can empower ourselves to the fullest. Okay, so one thing I wanted to really touch on was this statement right here. The RCIE reports Atlanta ranks among the lowest cities in the United States for economic mobility for Black people, underscoring the relevance of its work to impact change. At the same time, Atlanta often ranks among the nation's top cities for entrepreneurship and startups. That's interesting. I think that's very interesting, the fact that Atlanta ranks in the top um, of cities uh, for black entrepreneurship and startups, but are the lowest for ec economic mobility for black people. Um, that's pretty interesting. I'd have to do some more research on it, but I think that's a very interesting figure. Um, but I think that, you know, there, I, I actually live in Atlanta. And, you know, if, if anyone has been to Atlanta before, you'd know that there's a lot of black people in Atlanta. I think it really comes down to us helping each other out, helping us empower each other so that we can actually make that jump economically so that we can empower ourselves and just be more self-sustaining, self-sufficient, and just better off as a whole. All right, and we'll close it out with this statement here given by... Barunda Prince, the center's chief operating officer, the COO. Um, so he said, RCIE is a catalyst for change in combating systematic inequalities through economic opportunities for entrepreneurs and small business owners. But our work is not done, nor can we act alone. The responsibility does not fall on one family or organization. There is still a critical role corporate, public, and private partners and individuals can assume to amplify our efforts and help Black entrepreneurs monetize their assets, build wealth, and stabilize our communities to move the economy forward. If we're successful, Atlanta, our region, and our country will thrive. So in all, I think this is a very great thing, especially for Atlanta. I think there needs to be more institutions set up around the country in places maybe like uh, Florida, Maryland, um, and other places where um, there's a high concentration of Black people. Uh, I think these types of institutions need to be set up so that we can get Black entrepreneurs pointed in the right direction and give them a little bit of a leg up so that they can start their businesses. So, Overall, very good article. I hope you guys enjoyed the information that was given in this article. Uh, if you want to check out the article, I will link it in the description below. But that's about it for this video. 
As always, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel for related business content, leave a comment with feedback on what you did and didn't like and what else you'd like to see on the channel. As always, my name is Ron King. Have a great day. Peace.